Hello and welcome to Capital Online TV News. My name is Margaret Wahito and here are the stories making headlines. The International Criminal Court was on Wednesday to hold a status conference on the progress of the trial against Deputy President William Ruto and journalist Joshua Arab Sang. It is understood that the judges decided to hold a conference after the last prosecution witness failed to take the stand. The witness was among nine compelled to testify. The Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission is seeking support from the civil society groups in the counties to help in identifying acts of graft. ESCC Vice Chairperson Irene Kano says corruption cases are on the increase in the counties, adding that the Commission lacks capacity to follow them up without support. She says according to the Auditor General, embezzlement of funds and bribery are the most common forms of corruption in the counties. The Law Society of Kenya was on Wednesday afternoon to hold a special council meeting to discuss the wrangles that disrupted its AGM on Saturday. According to the president of the society, Eric Mutua, the meeting will be used to discuss the conduct of some of the members during the AGM. At the center of the chaos of the construction of the International Arbitration Center, for which members are to contribute a mandatory fee ranging from 39,000 shillings to 50,000 shillings, the faction, identifying itself as Okwa LSK, contends that the project is overpriced. And in other news, Transport Principal Secretary Ndova Muli says the work to eliminate roundabouts and replace them with specialized junctions will start once schools close. Six roundabouts from Kangemi all the way to Mombasa Road are to become obsolete in a joint national county and government initiative to decongest the capital. The government also aim to remove the right turnings at the Westlands and Bunyala roundabouts. And in business, a section of Kinangop residents have moved to court seeking an injunction to the 60 megawatt wind park project. In a petition filed in the High Court, 10 residents say the project lays claim on their private property, which they are being coerced to hand over. They have also taken issue with the go-ahead given by the National Environment Management Authority for the project, saying the proximity of the industrial park to their residential premises will contravene their right to a clean and healthy environment. And now a look at the Forex market. And in sports, Olympic and world champion Asbel Kiprop will lead the chase for IWF World Relays Champions ticket. The national trials will be held on Wednesday next week at Nairobi's Nyai National Stadium. Kiprop, who made it to the final list after setting a world leading time of 1 minute 44.4 seconds in Saturday's 800 meters race, will battle for their Bahamas slots alongside Bernard Kipiegon. For this and more stories, remember to log on to www.capitalfm.co.ke forward slash TV. I've been your host, Margaret Wahito.